Let's bring in Pascal Robinson now, a campaigner from the We Own It group. Hello to you, Pascal Robinson. I don't know if you could hear Dido Harding there. She says, test and trace is something we should be proud of. Dido Harding, of course, of course uh, needs to say that we, we should be proud of test and trace. But I think the reality here is that this report has shown very clearly that unimaginable amounts have been spent and that there is no clear evidence that the system has done uh, what it needed to and has had an impact on the amount of cases. I think it's really clear that local public health teams should have been leading uh, on contact tracing from the start and the government needs to act on the report's findings immediately. What about the case being made that 1.5 million tests were carried out yesterday? The daily testing capacity has been boosted massively. It has allowed schools to return. It's been used in workplaces. We see surge testing, hunting for variants that without this would be in a far worse position. Of course, no one is arguing that we don't need a test and trace system. Of course, that, that's really vital. However, it's about how we went about setting up the system. And rather than leaning into the public health teams that we have up and down the country, in our communities, people that speak the languages of our communities, people that can help with uh, vital things like getting food, um, support to isolate, etc. Um, instead, the government decided to pull in the likes of Serco, who have a horrendous track record and have no experience doing this work. They made that choice to go for people with, with no experience. And of course, we, we can talk about the amount of tests that have happened, the amount of people have, that have been reached, but it, it's about the it's about the percentages, of course. And to this day, um, the contact tracing operation is still only reaching 70% of close contacts from a different household to the positive case and that is not say just target of 80 percent this our test and trace is really vital over the coming months and so it's it's so important that the government looks at this and really learns its lessons and and lets local public health teams lead on contact tracing and testing we are in an unprecedented situation and we're, we're almost a year into it now but if you look back to early last year. We knew very little about this virus and we had to react quickly. Is it fair that the government brought in companies like Serco, brought in the consultants to try and rapidly scale up this process? I don't think it is fair to, to bring in these private companies that have no experience and have evidently failed to deliver. It feels as if we're in Groundhog Day, uh, getting report after report of the, the failings of, of our test and trace system. And, and of course it was unprecedented, but that's why the government should have leaned on people with experience and expertise. Uh, we have local contact tracing teams in, in, in public health teams all across the country. For example, in Oldham, they managed to stop a measles outbreak only a few years ago. This is their bread and butter. Mm -hmm. um, Could and they have rolled out the testing that, on the scale that we're now seeing? I think that there's a question here about... Uh, uh, about money and 37 billion it has been allotted to this i think with that amount of money uh, our nhs services could have been completely scaled up to deal with that instead they set up a parallel network that uh, the nhs labs have said doesn't communicate as well as it could it wasn't ready for the september return to schools and and you really rightly highlighted that uh, schools have finally gone back but of course this system was supposed to stop a second lockdown and I'm in Manchester where we're on our fifth lockdown I think so it seems to me clear that we need to properly look at the system and overhaul it so that the private companies with no experience are finally kicked out. Fifteen billion pounds was allocated in the latest budget and not all of that money has been allocated specifically yet. How could it be spent to make the system work better? Hmm. I think that local public health teams should be scaled up all across the country. Um, I, I think that there should be more support for people to isolate so that everyone is getting that payment and getting at least equivalent to their wages while they need to do this really hard task of, of cutting themselves off for two weeks and, and stopping all of their responsibilities. And I think we need to integrate 
uh, all of those lighthouse labs into our NHS so that we have a properly integrated system that is keeping people safe. Uh, and of course, in the process, providing really good jobs in our communities as well. Okay, Pascal Robinson, thank you very much. Thank you.